Hey there, it's Smash Center time. It's Sword from BG Stats, episode 44 of the illustrious podcast covering all Smash Ultimate tournament news, controversies, and more. This is, uh, like I said, episode 44, so quite the, uh, wow, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're up there. But in any case, uh, we did have a special guest promised, and I'm just going to be up front right now. Um, the, the special guest has been rescheduled. <laughs> Uh, they have been rescheduled for next Tuesday, and uh, I'm sorry, it is uh, on brand for me to disappoint people, so there you go. Unfortunately, they were scheduling conflicts. Ironically, we had moved the show from earlier in the week to today, but tonight they had um, scheduling issues. So Tuesday they'll join us, hopefully on the show. Uh, they gave me their word, so uh, we know how good that is these days. But in any case, we're going to break down into stuff that happened anyways since uh, we had a patch come out yesterday. Today is Thursday, November 7th, so November 6th, Nintendo released patch 6.0, so Kony's going to join us here in a second uh, to break that down, but of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so we can get all those beautiful uh, internet e-points, and of course, so you can get notified whenever there's a new Smash Center, Panda Global video, PGR videos, etc., and if you're on Twitch, we're going to do a live Q&A very shortly since we're going to keep this episode tiny and compact. So make sure to tag us in the chat with your questions. The better, the spicier, the more likely they're going to be read. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and have uh, the premiere Death Stranding uh, Twitch streamer currently right now. Kony <laughs> Beauregard joining us now from uh, the, the, the Maryland I'm region. <laughs> I'm not going to play that game. I'm trying to get me to play that game. I'm not going to do it. How are we, Kony? Good. Um, I'm I'm anxiously awaiting what normal people have to say about Death Stranding. It comes out at midnight or something. I don't know. Something. You're like really that. not. You're not going to be a Death Stranding influencer. No, dude. Because like I'm I've I've always been kind of skeptical of Kojima. Like I I like Metal Gear Solid, but I think he's he kind of makes it up as he goes along. And I can respect him as a visionary, but I don't want to play that. I looked at it. I was like, this is like. My, my biggest issue with games right now is finding games that I can play and that I enjoy playing in the limited amount of time I have. What the hell do I look like playing a FedEx simulator, taking 20 minutes to deliver a package, and they're like, thanks, and then I gotta walk all the way back. No, I'm not doing it. Well, it's clearly about the journey, not the, not the destination. Well, I'll, I'll take that journey in 2020 when it comes in on PC. PC. I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> I'll take that journey in, in a couple months, because apparently... I don't want to spoil anything, but I've heard a lot of things. Spoil so. what? It's not even out. I've I've heard. Something. Is it coming to the Switch? <laughs> Can no, that I think power. Just... What's his I... name? Uh, uh, I don't even know. I don't watch Walking Dead. Who's the main guy? Uh, what Grimes? No, what? Right. Um, Walking Dead. Not no. The who's the guy with the bow now? By the way, Devin's joining us. She's working on a paper. Who's? Oh, the... I know who you're talking about. Who's uh? What's his name? Daryl. D- yeah, well, that what's guy. His, what's the actor's name? All right, wow. Walking Dead fan over here. Um, but anyways, yeah, Death Stranding probably not coming to the Switch. I don't think they could power uh, 10 frames of that. But in any case, we have no. things to talk about, so let's, let's move on to that. Kony, how's everything been apart from uh, your Death Stranding streaming career? That's going to start tomorrow um, at midnight. I, no, I, I have not thank you. yet, but I think That's that my wife is showing up with food right behind me as I speak. This is the, the, this is the wifey edition stream. Wait, I think this is her coming in now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she, yeah, so I think she's going to be bringing me something right about... Can we get the right hand about, over your head on the green screen? I know we're trying to we're trying to keep the show short, so I feel bad for burning time, but right about... Is it going <gasps> to fall on right you? Right about now! Thank you, honey. This is Thank the Wholesome you. Couples uh, stream, but in any case, uh, this past Wednesday, as we were mentioning earlier in the show, patch 6.0 came out. We have downloaded it, we have tested it, we have played it. Uh, and with that, a new DLC character came out. So that character, of course, is going to be uh, Terry Beauregard. A lot of people have been playing him and um, have been okay. Bogard, sorry. Like, like Bogard. <laughs> well, I said Beauregard earlier. That is not. At you all. did, and I was like, okay, that's a choice, but you know, that's, I, that's fine. That. What am I thinking when I say Beauregard? That's like a like Confederate. Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka. Yeah. So not Beauregard. Bogard. My bad. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings. Uh, it's a not a Shoto character, so people are 
going crazy over the wrong things. But there's inputs, there's a lot, um, potential potentially, but we're going to talk about the patch notes that we saw, um, since there were quite a bit of things that had, a pe had, had some people excited, some people dismayed. In general, Kony, how did this patch feel? Did it feel nice? Did it feel lukewarm? I personally thought it was a little late. I'm honest. I don't think there are going to be any changes. All the characters adjusted are characters you never see in tournament. <laughs> the biggest change you might see is the Donkey Kong, because Donkey Kong is a character people want to play, but they can't. Nobody wants to play K. Rool. Nobody wants to play Jigglypuff. Nobody wants to play Incineroar. People will tell you that they do, but they don't. Donkey Kong is like... Nairo likes DK, Tweak likes DK, but I don't... Th they didn't fix the stuff that's gating TK. Or so, TK, DK. So that's the, um, I, I don't think it's going to change really much of anything at all. So you're really going to disrespect Ben Gold like that? He can't hear me anyway. He's all the way down in Australia. Not played in tournament, dude. K rule, come on. Once that's true. That's... By one guy. <laughs> by the time he hears this, he, he's asleep right now. He's on the other side of the he's world. He's playing that stranding. Oh, actually, yeah, he is. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I just that. saw in the chat, and it reminded me there are eight hours of cuts in that game. Crazy. Uh, what, what a world. But in any case, uh, pa patching up the patch notes, um, Nintendo, of course, now releases them on their official gamer website. And um, for us gamers, we, we get to see exactly what changed. There weren't many things, like Kony was saying. Donkey Kong, of course... Uh, receiving some nice uh, buffs, which is what I've seen so far from the DK mains. But in general, um, Kirby, which I only saw really Supergirl Kells pop off about. Um, Jigglypuff, which of course Hbox popped off about. And posted about feeling nice after a Wi-Fi session. Yeah, Wi-Fi gaslights uh, pretty badly. So. Hbox once a month will be like, yo, I really <laughs> like Wario. Can't wait to try really hard an ultimate. And then, and then he sad goes trombone. Like, yeah, he'll go like 4 2. Uh, Robin got a buff, so Dath from Florida is now a threat. Um, King K. Rule, like we said, had some things happen in Cineroar. Um, I, I wasn't sure. I think M2K noted this was not good, these changes. Um, yeah, M2K said that Incineroar actually got um, proxy nerfed because now revenge dash attack doesn't work anymore and he said that was a reliable kill confirm now ah, they revenge dash attack of course yeah i was gonna say of all the kill confirms i think that's the least revenge like oh attack. no you lost that like i don't i think that's a very music king thing to say but um maybe he's right i don't know i i feel like this patch is going to be largely inconsequential but i could totally be off base i just I, think that i would agree the characters that got buffed aren't like the only well, here, the only one out of, like, any sort of potential contentious nature is the hero um, snippet here. But even then, this doesn't look like anything crazy. After Kassizzle uh, hits a fighter or the stage and explodes, gravitational pull or pocket will have no effect on the explosion. So that affects all of one out of one billion instances that this character plays in tournament. Yeah. Um, but in the other parts of this patch like Kony was noting uh, I'm not seeing a lot um, they were mentioning that for Donkey Kong again we have a uh, side tilt um, geez not side tilt off tilt <laughs> and uh, Nair having some nice um, actual like clear buffs because here's the thing about uh, smash patches and this was true in smash 4 as well like sometimes a attack having knockback growth or knockback or any of the different like millions of variables that one move can have um sometimes a decrease is a good thing because then it leads into more combos sometimes an increase is a bad thing because it leads to less combos depending on what the hit is doing what the launch angle is what the character is doing i know for chic um, situations where you increase her knockback that would you can't fair people anymore you can't fair plane right so this one in general seemed pretty middle of the road i'll be honest with everybody i thought 6.0 was going to give us at least like 15 if not 20 characters right that's not even like half the cast that's not even a third of the cast but i thought we'd get at least some characters that we've been seeing in tournament play have something happen to them from wolf to zero suit 
um, possibly even Peach, uh, Mega Man, we, nothing, nothing happened at all. So if you play some of these characters, uh, good luck or um, sad luck. But in any case, it looks like there were some clear buffs and some okay nerfs. Um, doesn't seem like it'll change the meta today or tomorrow. Any thoughts on that besides that? Nope. Um, yeah, I, some characters might be minorly adjusted, but again, nobody's going to... You're not dropping your main for Jigglypuff now, so... Yeah, you're not. Um, air dodge, reduced vulnerability. Moving air dodge, reduced vulnerability. Not not really going to do much. I did see some cute stuff with down air, but it was also happening on Ridley, so I'm totally uninterested. Mm, I saw it on Pikachu. I was like, huh. Oh, really? Yeah, you can do dare, um, dare rest, but... Top tier? I mean, if you... I'm lying. I'm trying to think of a circumstance where... Like, None. in this game, it seems difficult for Jigglypuff to ever be in that space anyway. To be above you and landing on you with down air. That seems very risky against a lot of characters. So, I... I And there's very clear counterplay. Because if you just... There's you're, also... You just boost kick it, and now you're dead. There's also the fact that, like, Wolf exists, that Lucina exists. Like, I don't see Jiggly getting to that side of the cafeteria and sitting at that table... <laughs> Uh, I mean, these are buffs, folks, all right? And they're not that insane. They're not going to, like... There hasn't been, at least in the history of these patches, I don't think there's been, like, a buff that has made a character, so to speak. No, um, it's been the opposite. It's been the opposite. Like, Watering down or just, like, kind of chipping away? In Smash 4, we saw that, where, like, Mewtwo <clears throat> came out of nowhere and some characters just God. sort of became relevant. But in, in Ultimate, it's sort of been the opposite, where we've seen characters like Pichu hit, and then they don't really come back. So... Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be the first, but I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, this this is not the sixth patch, right? This would be the fifth. I don't know. Um, version 1.0 is original. I know they did a... I, did, I think 1.15 was also a patch, but clearly the ones with the whole numbers are with a character coming out. I think if we get anything uh, this year, we might get... No, we wouldn't. The year's literally the decade's over in a month and three weeks, so... I don't think there's a patch this year left. Um, it would be very strange unless it's a hot fix. Um, but I think they were saying, what, February is when the fifth DLC fighter's coming out? Something um, like that? I didn't catch it, maybe. Well, I mean, they said... I thought they said uh, five and... Well, I you know Nintendo and their content map, right? They're very illustrious beautifully detailed calendar of plans which doesn't exist but i think early 2020 if anything in spring they they said this the fifth fighter and chat can correct me as they'd love to do um, i'm pretty sure they said uh they said that everything would be coming out in 2019 but i could be wrong i think so I like, no no that can't be true i think well, that I, can't february be true now, 2020 but I they said that when they made the pass but maybe not yeah, I think February 2020 was... I don't know why February 2020 is the date, but I think that's when I heard everything would be out by then. But if you didn't know and you fell asleep or you just didn't even pay attention after the first season pass, uh, there is a second fighter pass slated to come out, apparently. Sakurai was like, I'm not going to stop working. I'm going to ignore the signs of fatigue and worker uh, work-life balance and yep. make, I think, maybe five more? Who knows? Um I'd be it'd be interesting to see if he'd stop even after that because it's getting so close to a hundred and that would be arguably like quote unquote the perfect game at that point with a Mugen roster of a hundred. But um, we'll see. Fifth characters, a bunch of predictions. I know Geno fans are still around for some reason. Um, I honestly don't know who else it could be that wouldn't break the internet. Um, Terry was received rather well. Um, a lot of people from the FGC that was like a nice nod. Obviously, Sakurai's uh entire we're gonna talk about terry now sakurai's entire 45 minute plus direct um or not direct but just informational his let's play um really just talked about terry or, or his history right with with the like his arcades i mean get, do you remember what he was talking about of how he even made smash like why he made smash oh well, yeah so they he was just talking about king of fighters he didn't really talk about this in the direct but there apparently the story is that he was playing king of fighters in an arcade and he was just mopping everybody he's like huh i wish the they get the got to have fun too i wish i wasn't just beating everybody for free so he set out to make a fighter that anybody could play and anybody could win so that was sort of the design smash four <laughs> yeah well yeah. <laughs> the gap is the smallest it's ever been um but yeah so so the direct was good everybody was wondering what the 45 minutes would be what would take up all that time 
the answer is Sakurai playing classic mode. That's literally all he did. And like, why not? It's really funny. I'm not complaining, but it's like th- that's such a Sakurai thing to do. Just like watch me play this game. Like, no hints, it's, right? It's very funny to watch. So yeah, and there were no hints or anything. I don't even think he even addressed no. the fifth fighter. Nope they they said very clearly there would be no announcement, and they were telling the truth. There was nothing about it. So we'll see. Yeah, so as you can see here in the clips, um, Sakurai is doing his Let's Play on Terry. Uh, a couple of things to note, if you haven't downloaded him already, you know, maybe it's middle of the work week, you haven't got a chance. Uh, a couple of things about him. One, no- most notably, like Ryu, like Ken, uh, they're always, uh, Terry's always going to face his opponent. Um, this is obviously important since a lot of the inputs in Smash depend sometimes on not facing your opponent. So... I think you've played a lot more than I have in terms of Terry Coney. How is that working out for you? Or is it kind of like fine and it just works itself out? I mean, that's not even talking about the fact that he has special inputs too, which we'll get to in a moment. You know, okay, so disclaimers. uh, I've only played him on Wi-Fi and (laughs) he's got to be worse on Wi-Fi because look at him. And I I am not a command input player at all. Like, I hate the auto turnaround. I hate feeling like I don't have full control of my... Because I've been playing Smash six, since 64. I have a certain... I have certain... Like, my brain is wired a certain way to play the game. And when I play, like, Ryu... Ken, I, I don't think I've ever played Ryu or Ken. Ever. Same. In, in Smash 4 or any game. But I really like Terry, like, aesthetically. I love Terry's sort of, like, his appearance and his whole demeanor. I love it. It's hilarious to me. So I was like, all right, let me give him a shot. Um, I said this on Twitter. I think he's okay. Uh, I think everybody is sort of blowing up about the potential combos and blah, 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 but that's always the case. Um, well, he's also got, well, I mean, without noting too much, he has a special input. So Ryu, obviously, quarter circle movements, everything. Um, mm-hmm. Terry has them as well, but then there's this other bit that, you know, his let's play is also showing, and that's what happens at 100%, right? So that's a big deal, right? I mean, doesn't that matter? Like, is that something that you think will really determine sets? Because it kind of, you know. Um, I, the- not really. I mean, like, I, I don't, his inputs aren't especially difficult, he's a lot more forgiving. But what happens uh, at 100 percent, Cody? Is well, you? At 100, you you know the answer. At 100 percent, he becomes a different character, which is good and bad because it's a weird thing. Because like Terry at 98 percent feels awful, <laughs> like it sucks. Now he's super heavy. He's like he might be heavier than Snake or a so little he's like bit less in terms of like a refrigerator. He's he's very heavy, very thick. He's definitely a heavyweight in that class, but. Um, so I think his biggest problem is that, uh, so you obviously, you can kill super easily post 100 if you land a jab, if you land a forward tilt, um, but pre 100, I, I'm finding it really hard to kill and everybody's like, well, you could just get the same power dunk confirms or whatever. But the problem is that, okay, if you're fighting Terry and he's not at a hundred, as long as you hold center stage it takes forever for him to kill. Like, he kills you off the side. He he very rarely kills you off the top. And what that means is, it's kind of like Fox, in that you could just take throws, and it doesn't matter. He'll throw you to the corner, and then he'll try to kill you, but if you get back out of the corner, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're at, at risk of dying, but you're not gonna die. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. Fox has up smash, and obviously vertical kill moves kill anywhere. So, just something to think about. Um, I... I I'm I'm interested to see where it goes because everybody has these like he he has more potential than most characters, but the execution barrier is very high. Uh, somebody would have to be dropping their main for this guy because I don't know if he's going to be a I don't know if he's secondary material. You know what I mean? Sure. His recovery sucks. His landing is awful. His la- he's, his landing is really bad because you don't you don't even have the the focus cancel mix up. Yeah, like Ryu does. Yeah, you can like yeah, wave you, in and out can't. and then. Yeah, you can't land with focus. You can't even do the B reverse on focus. You can do crack shoot, which is okay. It's not terrible, but he's got crack shoot, and then he also you can B reverse power wave. But that's mad laggy, and it doesn't send you that far. So I think he's gonna struggle. I think he's gonna be uh, 
I think he's going to get blown up by a lot of the good characters and a lot of the mid tiers too. Like a lot of the okay characters are going to do good against him. So, like um, I, I'm imagining Fox would and Zeus who just like run over him, like in and in, in just the, um, the speed aspect and just I mean I'm also looking at his like jump speed and everything else. I don't know because if you fight him straight up, he might win. That's okay. what I want to see. Like if you if you're if you're engaging with him, kind of like Ryu or Ken, mm. you might win. If you're Young Link. You don't have to interact. Like, Villager, Young Link... Uh, um, boxed out completely. Yeah, Rob. Like, I don't know what Terry can do about that. Because he not only slow. not only is it t- tough to get up to people, your approach options are, like, Burn Knuckle, which is very laggy. You could just shield pretty much everything he does. <laughs> so if he gets in, he's gonna, he's gonna mess you up, especially if he hits Jab. But, like, you could just stand he's kind of like ganon actually now that i think about it you just stand at mid-range and just wait for him to do something and offstage doesn't look that impressive oh offstage is god awful like he's not he's diving he's awful. not diving on anybody <laughs> like and and, and, no. and you can obviously similar to well no actually ganon offstage is tricky but like offstage he can't even really challenge anybody unless it's Apparently another he terry nothing. he has very little options also to hit you if you're holding ledge down tilt is too high he can dash attack, which is weird. He can't two frame. You apparently there are there's you can power dunk. What's the which, What's the Terry Discord say? You can power dunk, which is awesome because it spikes, but it's very reactable. So if you see him doing it, you just hit R, and then you'll roll on stage, and then you get to edge guard him. Um, he's just got a lot of weird issues. Like I he has don't see him doing well power, against like but... Samus or other zoners either. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm. I. I think he's really gonna struggle against good characters. Well, I mean, day one, so uh, we'll see how that yeah, goes. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Um. It, it, so here's the here's a big question, right? Because Banjo, uh, as the last DLC fighter to be released, um, a lot of people mentioned he quote unquote didn't feel DLC, right? It felt like he had always been in the game. And that yep. was because of how well he transitioned, one, in terms of, like, design, and two, his moves were kind of, except for, like, you know, side B, um, pretty okay, right? I think when characters are talked about as being DLC, um, like a DLC move, a lot of the Smash 4, Cloud, and Bayo <laughs> inputs were hilarious. The hitbox vis- visualizations are literally the atmosphere that you're in. <laughs> um, yep. They're insane. They cover a lot. Uh, does Terry feel like a DLC fighter? True or false? Yes and no. He feels like a DLC in that he's a new idea and a radically different sort of way to play. He is not DLC in that he's, like, he's normal. Like, the craziest thing about him is him at 100, but even then, Busta Wolf is, like, very reactable. Like, he he dashes across, like, half the stage, and it's very scary but if you just hold shield again, he can't touch you. So it's like, like Wonder Feather, kind of. Yeah, kind of. As if as just... as it's weaker and it's as telegraphed. It's not really telegraphed because it's fast, but you just if Go. you're if he's standing a certain distance away from you, he's going to do it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm interested to see how it goes. How how people push it because he doesn't go with the knuckle. I think, and I could be wrong about this. But with the knuckle, if he does that close to you and you block it, he'll jump past you. So it's safe because it's like, okay, you're standing right next to me. I'm going to throw out the knuckle. If Hmm. you bust a wolf, I think you push them. And then they're still just in front of you. So if you block bust a wolf, I think you could just smash him. Um, Hmm. Power Geyser is very good, but it's like just if if you're if Terry's at 100, don't fly above him. That's it. Yeah. Seems so like, it's it's like very simple counterplay. So at a hundred, right? It's like a KO punch. So he's gonna have it until he gets into tumble, or he has it forever. Yeah, yeah, he gets it. He has it forever. It's a permanent yeah. KO punch buff, kinda. Um, and in your experience, is that really so? After he's at a hundred, like, does he then obviously feel like a DLC fighter? Like, I'm no. imagining, yes, no, really, no, no, because he it's just a special moves. Well, he just has two special moves, but they don't... How do I put this? Right now, I can't find it really changing that you the way you play against him. 
If you're fighting Mac and he has KO Punch, you have to play against him differently. Mm-hmm. If you're fighting Terry and he has 100%, I feel like you can do the same things you've been doing up until that point. Now, yeah. I, I could be wrong about this, because, like, in theory, it sounds the same, right? But I feel like in practice, it's different. Because you can, like, as Mac, you don't want to... Mac has a lot more ways to sort of threaten you, and you can't shield it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the big thing. Meanwhile, Terry, it's just like, okay, I can just block this. Or mm-hmm. if I'm in the air, I'll just try to, you know, air dodge through it. If I react to it, I can just use my second jump to get away. Like, there's a lot of different things. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see how the character goes. But again, I, I, I don't see a bright future for him, but I could be totally wrong. Even if, <laughs> even if, even if he does start popping off, it's going to be like one or two players. Yeah, you're, you're you're not you're not you don't sound that hype, which means to me that he's not he's not radically going to change anything. Overnight. No, I don't think so. Well, I mean that's cool. I don't remember when Ryu came out how people felt or what happened. Um, Ryu coming out in Smash Four uh, was of course like a big surprise. Was that spoiled? I don't remember if that was spoiled if it was yes. leaked or not. It was. Yeah, it was. But there was a secondary character that came out with him that wasn't. Was it was Roy? It Lucas? Lucas or no? Lucas, Lucas came out with Mewtwo, and I think Roy came out, and it was like, "Whoa, it's Roy!" Yeah, it was um, Roy. Ryu, of course, coming out in Smash Four was a huge, um, you know, it's kind of cool, right? Uh, it's obviously Ryu from Street Fighter, um, but uh, Ryu became very polarizing towards the end. I don't remember if people saw that early on, though. I mean, they didn't see it for Cloud, obviously for Bayonetta, they saw it, um, or no, maybe I don't even think they saw it for Bayonetta, like how toxic it was going to get. But um, Twitter was pretty much reacting as you'd expect. I don't think anyone called for bans this time, which is funny. Um, but some people were posting training mode combos, and a lot of people were just like, this is literally training mode, and we're not fooled anymore. So uh, I think many locals are having him live. I think last night uh, last night was Wednesday. Xenos, I think, had Terry live. I didn't see much Terry gameplay. I know when Banjo was live, um, MSM had a grand finals with Banjo, and it, I think that video hit already 100k, or maybe it was Xenos. I don't know. Every big local does the patch run, and then it's always yeah. fun because you get to see like high level players and their local community play them. Terry, I didn't really see much of, so we'll see. I don't think the rest of the year will really showcase much that will surprise that many people, but same thing with Banjo. I think maybe some top player will take them out and try some stuff, but maining seems pretty hard. Um, yeah. I don't think, yeah, like he's not secondary material. I think Banjo, I don't think, well, I think Banjo could be like a secondary for some. I mean, he seems a little bit easier to pick up and he covers some matchups, but I don't think you have to drop your main to master Banjo. Terry seems a little interesting, though. It doesn't really seem like he meshes with any other character. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure. I mean, maybe if somebody played Ryu in the, like Locus, maybe, because Locus played Ryu in the past, and I think your brain needs to be wired a certain way to understand these characters again. Mm. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not I'm not holding my breath though. He's beefy though. Um... Yeah, I love him. He's hilarious. I love his voice. I love the sh- fact that he just shouts phrases. Like he's so funny. <laughs> I love him. Awesome. All right, well, we're gonna break away into the Q and A, keeping this episode short. Um, as always, please tag us in the chat. I think a lot of people might be curious about um where they see terry in a couple months and i think coney and i kind of illustrate that's a little hard to tell right now uh execution barrier is going to keep any would-be terry's at bay for a little bit and then anybody who's playing right now at a high level uh, might not have the time or really the opportunities to master someone like terry so i don't know maybe maybe we'll see i don't know i highly doubt we're going to see a top eight genesis featuring a terry um if anything someone might bust them out but we'll see. I'm interested to see how the tech forms. Um, I think that Ryu, for me, like that's sort of like, you know, uh, based on inputs, um, you know, like quarter circle and stuff and all that jazz. I mean, he did have focus attack. Uh, combos are kind of hype. So Terry looks explosive. I like his animations a lot. He looks flashy in that sense, but he really just looks like he hits hard. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that plays out. But in any case, Q&A from the chat, if you see one, Kony, shout it out. Otherwise, I'll pick one here in a moment. Um, Twitch chat has been really good to us recently. Again, sorry that our guest wasn't here tonight. Um, luckily, this patch saved us, so... <laughs> 
Uh, we have that, but in any case, yeah, let's see what ch chat has to say. Um, ch 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 oh, interesting. Um, I don't know if this is actually true, but Connie, maybe you knew since you were there. Uh, mm -hmm. Sam Dodongo asks, not sure if you guys ever talked about the very low viewership slash prize pool for Ultimate Summit 2. Thoughts? What was low? I thought it was pretty okay. It was fine. It was lower than the first one, but come on. <laughs> like... Really? Come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was lower than the first summit because Mango Zero and a brand new game were at the first summit. Mm. That's not. But was it lower than currently normal? What was it? Like 50, 60, 70? I think it was. It trended like 30 to 50, I guess. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know what low is. Like, what's low to some people and what's low to others. I mean, Today. Slime said he thought it was a success and he thought it was good. Um, I mean, like, I. I don't think it's right for us to say what is and is a success because we're not the people putting it on. If Slime said it was good and he's telling people it was good, I think that's... And, like, the fact that they're going to do another one, I think that's indication that it was valuable. Yeah, um, I mean, I think 100000 for something like that is just not... Like, Summit's kind of a weird... It's a niche event. Like, you have to really care about everyone that's there. It's an invitational style. Like, you could have easily not had a favorite player and not tuned in and just caught the VODs. I think things like Genesis and like Evos are just a lot different because there's like the spectacle surrounding them and like who's gonna win and like it's anybody's game. Uh, I think some is just like a weekend program that ran really well uh, in terms of prize potting. Uh, Smashers are poor, so I don't yeah. know. Um, that's that's kind of it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um... Yeah, Galaxian God pretty much confirmed what we're saying. I don't see Terry going to high-level competitive play until, like, February. Thoughts? I would even say later. Um, pretty much the end of I, spring, I wouldn't even see him. Like, I don't know if he's going to show up at all. Like, I, I mean, like, I, I don't think he... Like, some characters I feel like are time bombs. I don't think Terry is... I don't, I'm not convinced Terry is a time bomb. Ice I think climbers, though. I, that's a dud. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if Terry has what it takes against the good characters in this game. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But I just look at him. I've been wrong plenty of times. I've don't admit, I, usually I've been, episode. I've been incredibly wrong. However, okay. Uh, I just I look at his kit and I'm like, this is this is lacking competitively. I mean, like, casually he's super fun. I don't want people to think that I'm downing on Sakurai because he's a very fun character and I think he's very well realized. But as a competitive fighter that you put money on, I don't know. Not looking for fun, looking for wins. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair question. This is uh, this was addressed earlier, but in case people weren't listening, just to hit it up again. Uh, a Supernova369 asks, What do you think about the buffs of Jigs, Kirby, K. Roll, and will they change the meta? They are pretty nice buffs, but they will not change like the meta. It might change a dorm room meta for a weekend, but... I don't think any of those characters, like Kony was saying, are going to really see... Change a dorm room meta. <laughs> There's I mean, somebody at university popping off like, Yo, Brian just got his puff buffed! Bro, I what mean, were I, they thinking? I saw the K rule in there. That did not look fun to play against. And K rule's already not, like, the best to play against, if I'm being real. Yeah, I... I it looked kind of loopy. <laughs> kind of well, like, now, whoa! <laughs> I feel like the problem is, like... Okay, these characters get buffs, and that's great, but, like... You can, you just have to respect them slightly more. Like, yeah. Carol's Nair wasn't what was gating him as a bad character. It just, like, it didn't help. But now it's like, okay, well, if he lands on me with Nair, I'll just wait a second, and then I'll hit him. Like, it's, it's not the same, you know? Yeah, and honestly, like, the way these patches were going, like we described at the beginning of the show, doesn't look like there's much, like, character... Like, like like meteorotic rises in the sense of like you know Smash 4 like Kony mentioned Mewtwo like no characters getting made or added quote unquote to the game through these patches it's just like you know nerf taps and then very middle of the road kind of like quality of life changes um so yeah no no real surprises there you're not going to see a Jigglypuff in grand finals of anything um a new underscore HS thoughts on the rise of Joker usage among top players who's using Joker week and he won a, a new york event recently okay tweak and final. who uh just, just tweak i think 
Okay. I could be wrong. I see. I, I, I see. Among weird. top players, I think Nairo did. Nairo did, and it oh, failed Zachary. miserably. Zachary, Zachary did. did. Void, kind of, I guess. It's oh. interesting that Joker didn't click for Void the way I thought it would. Like, weird. He's used Sheik more than Joker. Um, I think that the usage of Joker um, by these top players is a smart choice. I mean, Leo's obviously making something work. Devs are not touching him at all. So, uh, have fun while you can. And the uh, benefits from Arsene are undeniable. And guns are amazing. So, uh, will it be eight Jokers in top eight from now on? I doubt it. Um, no characters dominating, so it's just I like think it's, the players. I think like you know that Doomsday Clock. Oh God! We're like a minute to midnight at all the time from Watchmen. It, well, I think it's like a normal thing, and then it was also in Watchmen, unless it became a thing. Because it's a trope. Either, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trope. Either way, it's like eleven thirty, dude. Like we're fine. Like uh, <laughs> it's not close. Oh, it's not close. Man. Yeah, we're Joker. not. But Joker's Smash 4 strong. started at like 11.59.59. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash 4 started and then like Bayonetta just... Oh, but went, Diddy. Went crazy. But Diddy. Like, di like oh my oh, god. Oh, yeah. Diddy, Funny yeah, days, dude. Funny yeah. days. Yeah, no characters really dominate. I think Joker will... Like, I think Joker is like, yes, Leo's showing us how to play um, these characters. Um, someone mentioned earlier, what do you think would happen if um, MK Leo picked up Terry? And I don't think... That he does not have a disjoint, so no, uh, that's not gonna happen. He's, he's I mean, a sword. Leo would, Leo would be good on Terry. He's a good player, but sure, like, sure, but he needs that sword, bro. He needs that sword, that disjoint. Might that get sword. like seventeenth, thirteenth, like yeah. Um, let's see. There's another question I wanted to hit up as a last one. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, pretty lukewarm week. I'm gonna be honest. We're headed with the last event of the season. In case people are paying attention to the PGR, uh, Congo Saga, which is pretty cool, themed to be about Congo Jungle, and I think Lucarios were invited, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> or maybe it was what? just Team Japan. I don't know. Um, themes Japan are themes. Every 2GG Saga is a Japan Saga. Name a more iconic duo. Um. Oh, well, here's an easy one. This is always fun, and I'll give a Supernova a two for uh, Panda Global. How many new faces do you think will be on the PGR? This is for Kony. Wow. Okay. <laughs> for me? I guess it's you. It's like you He make knows the whole I thing. hate this question. I hate this question because, like, <laughs> it's impossible. And I think we talked about it on a past episode. I think it's less likely, and I guess this is a stupid way to phrase it because, of course, it's true. But I think it is less likely that new people get on and more likely that old people fall off. Does that make sense? No. So who would be replacing the old people? Moral well, that, people? That's... Okay, so like Frozen. Okay. Like, Frozen's good, but he's probably not going to be on the PGR, so he falls off and takes his place. And then you've got other people in that, you know, 40 to 50 range, or you have people even in, like, 20 to 30. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know that there have been some people that have just really, you know, sort of slowed down. And then you have people like Scat, who have... An argument for top thirty. You have Meister, who has an argument argument for maybe top ten. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Game and Watch in top ten. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing so, to combat this? I'm joking. I love Meister. Yeah, I, it's uh. His lie detector skit was funny. Is he always that cheeky? Like, is that oh, he's him? Very. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's a very <laughs> funny guy. I'm really glad he made it. No, it was great. Some was awesome. Yeah. Uh, in terms of other people, I don't know, man. It's hard for me to to pull the names out of out of my hat like that, you know. Well, I hate all new age ultimate pros, so I hope no one makes it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Scat was on the last PGR. He was 41. Well, he'll move up a lot then. Scat low key got like in and around ninth and thirteenth at every major. Uh, yeah. Somehow, like evading all publicity. Um, but yeah, I, I that new faces. Well, actually, no, this question was not for me. Directly for Kony, so I'm not even gonna entertain it. But in any case, um, we're gonna keep it short. And um, those were our thoughts on the patch. It was, it was like we said, a pretty non-turny weekend. So we're gonna end here. Also, Kony has to go on, go ahead and skedaddle. And I'm uh, streaming, fellas. And Front where, page tonight. Where can we find that, Kony? Twitch.tv, uh, Death Stranding, influencer number one. Okay. Twitch.tv slash Kony. We're about to host me, so you guys will be kicked into that. Leave if you wanna. I don't know. I'm playing Terry, uh, so I'm gonna Oh, you're try a Smash it. streamer now. You're not a variety I'm, streamer anymore? I'm doing anymore? Smash. No, I'm doing Smash tonight because 
that's that's the agreement for front page. So I'm gonna be on front page playing Terry. On Wi-Fi. On Wi-Fi. Are it's, you ready I've for done that? it a lot. It's okay. annoying. It's You're annoying. Practicing. I've been I've been playing him for a couple hours so I can like get a feel of the character. I can only play Wi-Fi because I don't go anywhere local. So uh, yeah, I'll 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 be experimenting with stuff. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will. The chat is cracking me up. A Supernova said, "You run the PGR store." I'm sorry. <laughs> and someone else said, "Name names for like hating all the pros and New Age Ultimate." Oh, uh, all of them. None of them have coping mechanisms to deal with like anything that happens. So all of them go dark on Twitter when they lose, and they can't understand being ranked beyond taking it personally. So <laughs> that's my bit. I love Damn. brawl players. Brawl players getting ranked. That's like the best because they're like, "Oh, I've been here before. Okay, this is cool. Let me." Let me not measure my self worth through a Twitter post. See ya. And then you get scared. Ball players are the best because they have perspective about like a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of them used to play in basement, so like the esports stuff is nice. But like, you yeah. think Yeti gives a shit about his number? Like you know. Yeti doesn't care. Like you know what I mean? It's like. And historically, people who complain about the PGR are usually the ones not to make it. It's never Leo. It's never brawl players usually. Yeah. Um, Actually, Nairo does, but Nairo does it in a good way. He usually does it to bring a critical lens to the wrongdoings <laughs> of Big Bad Panda Global. But no, jokes. Jokes aside, everyone's cool. I, I really like the new faces in the sense that they're new faces. Um, I just think that it's really uh, interesting entering now as a PGR player for the first time with Ultimate being your first PGR experience because... Uh, the people who did it in Smash 4 did it when it wasn't like things are right now. So they had the ability to weather a couple bad winters. Uh, there are plenty of people who did not make use of being ranked top 50 globally in the biggest title on the Switch the sure. first season. So while you're complaining and taking shots at whoever, you could have uh, gotten signed. So here we are. Uh, we're going to enter now into the end post show. Where I sign us off and Coney skedaddles to set up his Death Stranding cam and stream. And uh, we'll see you there. Yep, Any words, thank you guys Cody? for watching. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Cool. And he literally did not give me time. And this exposes our show under the hood. Um, but in any case, yeah, thank you, Smash Center 44. Um, I love you all. I, I, was being, <laughs> I was being really jaded for really no reason. Um, Ultimate pros are fun. Brawl pros are fun. Smash 4 pros are fun. Um... The new faces, like I said, it just it's just gonna vary. And I think, like I agree with Coney, old faces will replace the new faces of the old. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, it's really hard to get ranked. It's difficult, and also you gotta consider the international scene, and eventually what Japan's gonna do. Japan's gonna Japan, okay? Uh, but yeah, we'll end there. Patch six point is out. I'm gonna actually download it right now. <laughs> I was really leaning on Coney there in the let's play because uh, yeah, Terry interests me, but I the. It, yeah, not, not really for me, but um, maybe it's for you. So good luck with that. Tell somebody you love them. A lot of stuff's been going on in the world, so keep people close. And we'll see you next week for, I hope and promise, our special guest who was supposed to be here tonight. Uh, they did not have the time um, work out in their favor, so they did not join us. But in any case, thank you for tuning in on Twitch. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you for listening on your... Um audiobook device or this is not an audiobook your podcast device uh we love it we appreciate it smash center soir pg stats we love you all we'll see you next time and uh episode 45 actually look at that almost uh one for every week of the year imagine our torture love you all